So I try and keep my channel really up to date and everything that I'm talking to my clients about and everything that my other industry experts are sharing with me, I try and impart to you so that maybe what we're going through or talking about, you're also doing the same. Now, one thing that I've really picked up is that so many of my clients, actresses, models, have got a very dry outer layer of their skin. And when I talk to them and say, well, you just need a bit of glycolic and hyaluronic and you'll sort that. But then they look at me sort of quizzically and say, sorry, what was that? And it always surprises me because there is so much information, I think, out there. But for some reason, people aren't absorbing it. But that's because we live and breathe beauty and not everybody does because they've got busy lives. So I want to make it really simple and keep it very basic so as not to bombard you with too many products or too many tips and tricks. If you find that the outer layer of your skin feels really tight, like it shrinks and feels a little bit oof after you've washed it, or by sort of two or three hours after you've used your moisturizer and throughout the day your skin just feels taut, and when you put your foundation on, it looks a little bit rough and you can see the foundation sitting in the dead skin cells, this is what you need to do, and it's really simple. You need to invest in two products. Two products being an AHA, which comes in a glycolic form, so just AHA, and a hyaluronic. Now they can be expensive and they can be inexpensive doing different things. So, when you have washed your face, you just take an AHA. Now, Alpha H is a really fabulous brand. It's won lots of awards. Um, it was one of the first AHAs that I used, and this product is called Liquid Gold. This is a Liquid Gold Rose. I haven't actually used this, um, but I used to use the Liquid Gold a lot, all the time, and now my skin's become quite resistant to it, so I can go even punchier and use stronger ones to keep it even smoother, but it made such a difference to my skin, I cannot tell you. All you do, it always comes in a liquid form, is you take your chosen glycolic, and I will put a list below of all my favorite brands, which be um, Pixi, Alpha H, Murad, Dr. Dennis Gross. These products I've used, spent money on, and I've really liked them, but they will all be below. I just want to keep it really simple and top line. So when you've cleaned your face, before you go to sleep, do this three times a week to start with, just to see how your skin reacts. Put the glycolic, AHA on a cotton pad and just wipe it over your skin and just let it dry. That's it. Now you can leave it if you want to, because it gives it a stronger effect, a stronger peeling effect, but your skin won't peel. It'll tingle, definitely it will tingle. You shouldn't get any reaction at all. Use a very low percentage one first. And then if you feel that your skin's really tight before you go to bed, you can of course put moisturizer on and you gradually build this up. I guarantee that within, well, probably within a week, definitely in two weeks, your skin will begin to feel like glass. As we age, the skin renewal process, which means how quickly your skin cells shed, slows down. And so it almost kind of comes to a big massive queue at the top of your skin. It's like, ur, 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 and you need to help remove it. Then you'll get a much smoother, glossier finish. And then when you put your makeup on, it will just literally glide on. So that's the first thing. The second thing is a hyaluronic serum. Um, so hyaluronic is obviously a very key buzzword in beauty at the moment and you can find it in foundations and you can find it in serums and in moisturisers. So two favourites are hyaluronic from The Ordinary and Skin Suticles. There is a huge price difference in this. This is a very good product that's a quick fix. It instantly makes your skin feel really soft um, and diminishes fine lines very slightly. Whereas this product will really help inhibit the breakdown of your own natural hyaluronic and will encourage your skin to maintain and hold on to its natural hyaluronic. So it will firm your skin over time. And I really, really love this product. If you've got a little bit extra to spend and you love the effect and feel of hyaluronic, then this is a great product to invest in. I will list all the details below. So you simply apply the hyaluronic after you've washed your face. You can then follow with a moisturizer if you need more moisture. You might find that that's enough. Different hyaluronics have a different finish to the skin. Another little tip which I use if um, I've had a few glasses of wine or I'm feeling a bit dehydrated or very tired is that I just very lightly pat hyaluronic just around this eye area. I've got lots of fine lines around this area um, and I just feel more confident if they are in soft focus shall we say and that just really smooths this area and it makes the skin around my eyes feel really comfortable so therefore I feel fresher. So just to recap 
If you are seeing dry skin around your nose, cheekbones, especially when you put on foundation, or your skin is feeling really tight and constantly thirsty, I promise you that the use of these two products together, or even one or the other, you can start with one or the other. If you're gonna start with one, just start with an AHA, the glycolic over your face with a cotton pad, nice and simple, and then just moisturize your skin with your normal moisturizer, and then maybe go towards the hyaluronic. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if it's made a difference, um, and I would love to hear what you think. And if you don't already, please subscribe. I look forward to chatting to you down below. Bye for now.